Hello everyone, Ace here, and today I've decided to have yet another look at some video game history, and in the process answer the question, what exactly made Battlefield 1942 great? First released all the way back in 2002 exclusively for the PC, and being the official founder of the Battlefield franchise, although technically you could consider Codename Eagle to be a spiritual predecessor, it's easy to nevertheless say that Battlefield 1942 has had a massive impact on the video game industry, both directly and indirectly. But to understand why this is the case, let's now move on to looking at the features that made Battlefield 1942 great. And the first thing that made Battlefield 1942 great has got to be the fact that it created the Conquest game mode as we know it, which is a mainstay game mode for multiplayer games that are known for high player counts. And while Battlefield 1942 was not the first multiplayer game to have massive servers, even outside of the realm of MMOs, it was nevertheless the first to include this very unique game mode that perfectly accommodated those massive player counts. So suffice to say, the fact that Battlefield 1942 coined the Conquest mode is already enough to make it a great game. However, there is one additional detail that I do need to add to this story, one that is not a part of the official Battlefield 1942 experience. And for that, we're going to have to delve into the modding community, and specifically talk about the impact of the Desert Combat mod, which was a Modern Warfare themed mod set during Operation Desert Storm. And it should also be noted that Desert Combat came out somewhere between December of 2002 and January of 2003, meaning that this mod was released just before the Second War in Iraq, and thus unsurprisingly became very, very popular, to the point that Desert Combat even had more active servers than the vanilla game. As a result of this, DICE ended up hiring the people behind the Desert Combat mod, and they would then go on to help develop Battlefield 2, before getting shut down by EA and DICE, and then moving on to form their own studio, where they created games such as Homefront. Getting back to the Battlefield 2 lead, however, we of course see that Battlefield 2 led to the spin-off known as Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, which itself was a heavy, heavy inspiration for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In other words, you could ultimately tie the rise of modern warfare themed first person shooters to, of all things, Battlefield 1942 and some members of its modding community. And given what an impact that ultimately has been on the industry, I hope you'll agree with me when I say that Battlefield 1942 is great.